Hey guys, we just released our very first introduction to Blender 2.8 as a premium series. This is really the perfect series for anyone wanting to get into Blender. We cover essentially all the features you need in order to get up and running. With over eight hours of premium content, you will learn so much about, first off, how to use Blender, but second off, how to use it for something practical. In the first part, we cover how to actually understand Blender. It starts off with a concept for very beginners, which is software agnostic. We just cover the principles of 3D. What is a polygon? What is, what is rendering? Then we go into navigation, how to use the outliner, customizing the living life out of Blender. We show you how to add objects. What is the difference between edit mode and object mode? We go through extensively how to how selection works in Blender as well. There are a lot of really good tips there as well. We cover fast ways of deleting it. What is the difference between deleting and dissolving? We go extensively into the modeling tools as well, such as learning what is the extrude tool, how can you use this in a clever way, beveling, all sorts of tricks when it comes to modeling. We cover soft selection as well, or proportional editing as it's known in Blender. We also cover a topic which is really often overlooked and not understood well, and that's the 3D cursor. This is one of the most powerful features in Blender, but we feel that very few people actually understand how it truly works. So we definitely cover that. We cover transform orientations and pivot points, essentially where does something scale from, and do you move it on local or the global axis? Then we have a whole chapter on modifiers as well. We really cover some of the, the, the most interesting modifiers out there. Modifiers is really one of the strengths of Blender, so this is a very good chapter. We also cover Booleans, which is awesome. Booleans are, for particularly for concepting, one of the most powerful tools you can use, but also for final modeling if you know what you're doing. A feature which is often misunderstood is the origin point. This is one of these fundamental features which seems like a lot of people misunderstand and due to that, you, you're just overcomplicating your work. So we are covering in depth what an origin point is and how to control it. We're also going through instances in Blender which is incredibly powerful. Then we show you how to set up image planes using vertex groups and bevel weights. We cover snapping as well. We have some chapters on retopology. We also cover UVs. We also uh, go through some animation basics where you learn how to set keyframes, how to change the, the easing of the keyframes. Then we have an animation practical example. We're going to make two cogs animate and really just work together. Then we're going into some scene setup as well, showing how to import, export from some scenes, what the difference with linking and appending, which is incredibly important if you're working with any other people. And then we go into our rendering section where we start off with understanding what is the difference between EV and cycles? Is one of them better than the other or are they just different engines for different purposes? Then we cover the shader and blender. This is an incredibly powerful feature, but it can be a bit complicated for beginners. There are tons of attributes there and you're just going crazy spinning every dial back and forth. Well, in reality, once you understand a few basic parameters, you can use it to create nearly everything. So we cover how you can go from not understanding a shader to being able to, to really shade most things you can think of. Then we cover the shader editor as well. This is super important for anything to do with shading and look up. The default rendering tab is also a mess, or rather it's the opposite, it's too simple. So we're gonna show you how to make something which is actually really useful for you. This is based on like years of production work and we know, we know what you genuinely need when it comes to rendering. Then we are going into how you can use cycles. We're recovering how to get noise for renders. We briefly covered it, need denoiser and generally how you can go from nothing to being comfortable with using cycles. We also cover lighting as well. We cover the point light, the area light, and all the other types as well. Then we go through the HDRI feature. HDRI is such a powerful way of lighting in Blender, where it's, it's like the closest thing to instant realistic render you can have. So we cover how to set that up as well. Then we also have a little, a little trip tip as well, is using the bevel shader to really get these nice rounded corners. So uh, you learn how to do all that. We cover, uh, we cover how to actually render something out and how to comp it later on in the compositor. Then part two. This is where we are taking all the things we learned in the first part and combining it into an awesome project. We are showing how to make a cool lightsaber. 
where we are going from the very first polygon to the last render. We are blocking in the shapes using simple modeling tools. Then we're adding some more advanced features as well to the model, such as cutting in a perfectly circular hole. Some parts will be done with modifiers. Some parts will be done with direct modeling. And you, you'll really be able to model anything after this. Most things will follow the same patterns as we, sh we, we show you here. Then once the modeling is done, we show you how to clean up the scene. So if you were to work in a production, this is how you would hand off the scene to somebody else. We should set up some basic shaders for it, and then we will refine the shaders and really add some nice grunge to it as well. We, we, supply, we were supplying you with four real nice grunge maps, which you can use for any project in the future as well. Then we show you how to light it as well. We cover some theory of three-point lighting, and uh, we just make a really nice render in the end. So with all that said, we really hope that you enjoy this series. It has been so much fun to make. And by making it, of course, we learn a lot about Blender as well, because it's such a powerful software. You will really go from not knowing anything about Blender or maybe 3D. If you're a pure beginner, you, this, is also, this also applies to you as well. So you will go from not knowing a whole lot about Blender to being very proficient in it. And you should now be able to take any project from start to finish, and you should be able to get awesome results time and time again. That's really the main philosophy we have at Normals. Instead of just showing you some tools, we're showing you some tools, and then we're showing you how you can use it. It's so important that you not just understand what the hammer is, but how you can build a house with it as well. So that is, that is really the philosophy we have when it comes to um, all our series. The practicality is so important. Our background is also from the film industry, where we worked as character modelers and texture artists. We have a deep understanding of how you should work with the tools and not just clicking the different buttons. So that is something unique in this series, that we are using our experience from the film industry to, uh, to really show you how you can effectively do this. By the end of the lightsaber project, you will have made a fully production ready model. This model has topology, which can be used directly in any film or any game. So uh, you're really learning industry standard techniques here. So all this said, we really hope that you enjoy this series. Thank you so much for watching and let us know what you think about this series in the comments below. And if you're interested in professional training or 3D assets, 2D assets, 2D training, whatever it is, trying to advance your career within the CG visual effects or animation industry, make sure to pop over to the Flip Normals Marketplace and grab something from there.